What's up YouTube? Let's talk about charging. The number one question that I always get whenever we're talking to people about the Tesla is, how do you charge it? Like, seriously, it's the number one question that I get. Not, how do you like the car? How fast is it? It's, how do you charge it? So we thought it would be a good idea to make a video covering all things related to charging your Tesla. Plus, we got another awesome giveaway for you guys. So make sure to stay to the end to see how you can enter to win some awesome freebies. When you pick up your Tesla, they're gonna give you this awesome bag that has your charger in it. When you get it, your charger will be in here. Your charger looks like this. It's basically just a giant brick with a plug on the end of it that goes into an outlet. And then on the other end of the cord is your charging cord that goes into the car. When you pick up your car, your... Now when you pick up your Tesla, your charging cord is gonna have one of these. This is a 120 volt cord. These cords are interchangeable. Now 120 volt is going to get you level one charging. The other thing that you can do is you can purchase additional adapters for your charger, like this one that we purchased. This is a 1450 NEMA adapter. This will allow you to get level two charging at your house. We'll talk about the levels and what they mean in a little bit. We use level two charging here at our house. We plug it right into our charger, and then we ran a line that comes all the way out to the end of our garage. There's the plug right back there. It's basically just a dryer plug. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna plug it right into back there. Then boom, you're ready to go. Now getting one of those lines in your house, I would recommend calling an electrician to have that installed. The price of getting one installed in your house, it varies based off of where you are. I've seen prices online of charging $500 up to $2,000. It really depends where you are and it also depends on how far your outlet has to go from your breaker box. So the wire that has to be used is a very thick, very expensive type of wire. So the longer you have to go from your breaker box to where you're gonna be putting your outlet, the more it's obviously gonna cost because the more wire they're gonna have to use. So to plug it in, it's very simple. You just bring this on over to your charging port. Now, a little tip that I don't know if many people out there know, but when you get here, if you double press the button on your cord, it'll actually There we go. It'll actually open up the charger port for you. So you don't have to either tap it to open it or go on your phone or do it through your car itself. You just take this and it just goes right in. Now when you plug it in, it is a good idea to make sure that you try to give it a little bit of force if you possibly can. Uh, because a lot of times what some people will do is they'll kind of go like this and then they'll say, oh, well how come it's not working? You gotta give it a little push. You'll hear it engage when you do. And then you watch the Tesla light right here. You first plug it in, it's white. It'll start to blink blue while it's making the connection. And then once it does, it will either turn a steady blue if you have scheduled charging in place, or it'll turn a steady green if it's gonna start charging right away. And then you know you're good to go. Now to unplug, you grab the charger, you hit the button on the top of it, that'll disengage. You'll see your Tesla light go white. You'll hear a little click as it disengages the charger and you pull out. It's that simple. When you're at a supercharger, it's really pretty simple. You grab the cord, same thing applies, double tap, opens it up, plug it in. And then you just wait for the magic to happen. Superchargers are amazing. Keep going. Keep going. You're good. At some of the spots when you go, wow, the echo is absolute. I, I apologize for this echo. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, so when you go to some of the third party chargers, like we're at charge point right now, you just simply hop into their app. You click start charge. Oh, sorry. Boom, good to go. It unlocked the chargers for me. 
you grab the charger, and then you connect your adapter. The adapter just slides right on, like that. So let's talk about the different levels of charging that you can do. There are three different levels of charging available for EVs. Level one is this. It is when you're charging via a 120 volt line. Level one charging is really slow. You're gonna average about three to five miles per hour gained. Now, to break that down, let's say that you use about 50 miles of battery every day when you're driving. If you're plugged in via level one charging overnight, over the course of, let's say, eight hours, at best, you're only going to regain 40 miles of battery every night. The only time it's really good to use level one charging is if you're not using the car very much. If you do not have a long commute, your driving is very local and you don't use very many miles throughout the day. Level two charging is this for example that is when you're charging via a 240 volt line level two charging is also the best way to go and the way that we use for at home charging when using level two charging at home you have two options option one is this pick up a 1450 nema adapter that you can plug into your tesla home charger and then plug it into like a dryer outlet that you run somewhere to your garage or wherever it is that you plug and charge your tesla every night the second option is you can purchase one of the tesla wall chargers those are actually able to charge at a slightly faster pace than using a 1450 nema connector using a 1450 nema connector you're going to get on average about 29 to 30 miles per hour of charge. Using one of the Tesla wall connectors, they average about 35 to up to a max of 40 miles of charge per hour. Now, most level two charging in general, you're gonna get anywhere between 25 up to about 40 miles of charge per hour. The last and most popular type of charging out there is level three. Level three is also known as supercharging to the Tesla world or DC fast charging for those that don't have a Tesla. This is where you're charging up super fast at blazing speeds. You're gonna go anywhere from 125 up to 250 miles of charge per hour. That is insanely fast. Level three charging is using a 480 volt line. Now, the easiest way that I can think of to explain the difference between the levels of charging is level one charging is really gonna take you days to go from a near empty battery all the way back up to full. Level two is gonna take you hours and level three supercharging will only take a matter of minutes. To give you an idea, if you're low on battery in general, meaning you're in the 10 to 20% range when you're going to plug in, if you're charging via a level one charger, it could take anywhere between two to four days to get all the way back up, depending on the capacity of your battery. For level two, anywhere between two to six hours on average. Level three charging, that's only gonna take anywhere between 20 to 40 minutes. That's less than an average dinner. charging you're on the go you need to stop and charge up tesla is not your only option there are lots of other companies out there that offer on the go ev charging the easiest way to think of it is it's a lot like gas right there's multiple different gas stations that you can stop at sunoco bp luke oil there's tons of them out there ev charging on the go is the same there's multiple different companies that offer different charge spots where you can stop and charge up tesla is just one of them they also happen to have the largest on the go charge network that's currently available they currently have over 200,000 superchargers and they're constantly expanding adding new ones all the time now some of the biggest companies that are out there are charge point volta ev go electrify america ge and there's many others and when you go to one of them it's a simple Simple as just stopping, opening up their app, tapping your phone against the charger, and it will connect and start your charging capability right away. Of course, they couldn't just make things simple and just have one universal connection type to be able to charge up your EV. Instead, there are four major ones that are currently used. The Tesla version is the one that we all know as Tesla owners. Now this type of connection is only available to be used on a Tesla and doesn't work on any other type of EV. Now there are some third party manufacturers out there that are starting to develop different adapters that will go from a Tesla connection to a different style of connection, whatever type your EV uses. So if you needed to stop at a, at a supercharger, in theory you could, but it still doesn't work because 
superchargers only will work on the Tesla network. So even if you have one of those adapters, you still won't be able to use a Tesla supercharger. <laughs> However, it would allow you to use one of the Tesla at-home chargers and be able to use that on your different style of EV. The second most common type of connection point out there is known as J1772. This is the style adapter that Tesla gives you when you buy your car. It looks just like this. Now this offers level one or level two charging that's out there when you go and use third party charging services. As I said, Tesla goes ahead and provides one for you free when you buy your car. And most times when you're stopping at a third party service other than Tesla, this is the type that you're probably gonna see. The third style that's available out there is known as Chatamo. Chatamo only offers level three charging, which means you're gonna charge at blazing speeds. So if you can't find a Tesla supercharger nearby, but there is a Chatamo, you're in luck because your Tesla is compatible with it as long as you have the adapter. Tesla does not provide that adapter for you when you buy the car. And to be honest, the adapter is pretty pricey. As of the time that we're filming this video, it comes in at a whopping $400 for that adapter but it will allow you to charge at those blazing fast supercharger speeds without having to be at a Tesla supercharger. The fourth type is known as SAE Combo or CCS. It basically is like the J1772 connection point, but it has a secondary piece on the bottom of it. Now this allows level three super fast speeds as well. However, this is not compatible with Tesla. There is no adapter that's available and Tesla does not support it. So if you're pulling up and you see the SAE combo logo on there and you're driving your Tesla, that is not for you. You're gonna to wanna to find a different one. Different companies offer different connection points. So when you pull up to a charge point, it could be Chatamo, it could be a J1772 connection. The easiest way to find out when you're going to make sure that you have the right adapter is to check the app of the third party service. I personally like to use the ChargePoint app. I find ChargePoint chargers everywhere around the Northeast where we live. Plus, they also tend to show other ones as well, even if they're not offered by ChargePoint. Not only does it show you how many stalls there are and how many are currently in use and how many are available, but it also shows you the type of connection point that that charger uses. Now, the other thing to note too, when you're using your adapters is that the adapter does not lock on to the charger that you're using. Meaning when your car is locked, the charger is locked to your car as well. If you're using a Tesla supercharger, for example, somebody can't come along if your car is locked and unplug the supercharger and hang it back up or use it for their car. The only way that it will unplug is if your car is unlocked. Unfortunately, when you're using these adapters, that doesn't exactly work. When the adapter itself will stay locked into your car when your car is locked, but the charger, the J1772 or Chatmo, that does not lock into here. So if somebody can walk along, they can unplug the charger while you're mid-charge and either redirect it to what they're using or try to be a jerk and disrupt your charging. But there is a solution. You can buy these things called adapter locks. These things are absolutely fantastic. They're cheap, they're easy. Uh, the ones that I use, I think they're 20 bucks and you get two of them and that includes shipping. They're, they make them in all sorts of different colors, but they're very simple to use. You simply slide it over the adapter and this little box up here goes over top of the connection between that third party charger and your adapter and it holds it in place so that way it cannot be unlocked unless it's being unlocked from the Tesla side of it, which means the car must be unlocked first. I will go ahead and drop a link in the description below if you wanted to purchase the ones that we use. Like I said, they're about 20 bucks. You get two of them. It includes free shipping uh, and it's pretty simple to use. It's time for another awesome giveaway. And this one is on topic with all this talk about charging. We've got you guys hooked up. Thanks to our friends over at TopFit, which by the way, if you haven't seen our last accessory video, it's right here, or or it might be here. I I, I, the card is one of the two places, guys. But we've got you guys covered in today's giveaway. The giveaway includes two awesome items. Number one, a charging cable organizer free from TopFit. The second thing is we got you hooked up with a set of two charger adapter locks. Guys, to enter this giveaway, it's super easy. All you gotta do is make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like this video, and drop a comment down below that says EV charging. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, 
drop a comment below that says EV charging. On Saturday, June 12th, we're gonna select the winners. We're gonna announce the winners over on our Instagram, so make sure you're following us. Handles down below, as well as uh, our other socials down there. We're always posting cool pictures, different news information on our different socials, but make sure you're following us on Instagram because that's where we're gonna announce the winners. All right, guys, so I hope that answered all your questions when it comes to charging. It's really not as complicated as it, as it seems. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button, guys. I can't even tell you how much it truly helps with the YouTube algorithm. I gotta say too, let me know what you guys think. I, I did this video in a different kind of style, right? I kind of went more with the videography approach as opposed to more of a vlog approach. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Drop some comments down below. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're down there. We have a ton of giveaways coming up. If you haven't subscribed yet, you need to do so. We post videos every single Saturday at 10 a.m. As always, if you are in the market looking to buy your own Tesla, make sure to use a referral code. We don't know how much longer this referral program is gonna stick around. If you have a family member or a neighbor or a friend that owns a Tesla, reach out to them, use theirs. If you don't know of anybody that has a Tesla, Feel free to use ours down below so you don't miss out on the free 1,000 supercharger miles. Thanks so much, guys, for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Been, or, oh, I have this wrong. So when you pull in to a super, I'll take that. That was actually pretty good. There's something I was gonna say, and I don't remember what it is. Hi. See, that's unused. Blooper reel. Mm-hmm.